Next thing we're going to show you a double egg. There's a whole bunch of different double eggs. We're just going to show you a couple of them. Now, the, uh, the idea is you're getting both of his legs. It's like in football. That's why NFL coaches, college coaches love guys that are great double leg guys. I think Ray Lewis was a two-time state champion. Roddy White, the Atlanta Falcons, was a state champion. There's a whole bunch of guys that have been in the NFL that were state champions. Okay? But the idea is we're going to tackle this guy. So that's why while uh, guys are playing basketball, bumping guys all winter long, these guys are uh, wrestling people, so they're doing football tackles every day. So every football coach needs to have these guys on the mat. So okay, so right now we just have a little, uh, we just go uh, choom choom, and we'll, shoot on, uh, and we'll shoot on a double leg and we'll stop right there. So whatever setup you want to use, you know, double leg, we're moving around, go ahead and give him a little choom choom. He's like faking, a lot of faking. Okay, and then we're gonna shoot in, change levels, bang, we'll stop right there. So John is in on a double leg and we'll turn this way. She turned the other way, the other way. Look at John's hands, his hands are snaked. Your hands are down instead of straight around the knees. Now, I can't tell you how many guys I see wrestle, they have their hands like this. A guy can sprawl back and put a lot of pressure on you when you're like that. But when you snake, when you bring your hands down, that shuts that down because of the way the knee is made, the way the patella, uh, way the patella tendon is made. You bring your hands down, it makes it much tougher. Also, he's in a good hitting position. So if Pierce is carrying a football, that football got knocked out. And then in a real game, we let go and go make the tackle. But in wrestling, we're here, our head is up, and John's using the right side of his neck and his shoulder, and he's going to take his left hand and lift Pierce's leg up in the air, but at the same time, he's going to take his right hand and pull Pierce's left leg down. And he's going to drive him to the side, or some people call it cutting the corner. So take him down and try to throw a half. Try to throw a half. But as he's going down, throw a half. Don't wait for him to get down and then throw a half. As he's going down, throw a half. Okay? All right, so that's a double leg. We'll do another step. We'll do a Russian yank. I call it a Russian yank. Some guys just rip your shoulders off. He's going to yank. You can either, you can either do a two-on-one, uh, uh, two one-on-one, -on -one, cross arm. There's all kinds of things you can do for a Russian yank. It's a real simple move. He's going to, you're yanking the guy's arm and seeing what he does. And if you're strong, you're probably, you probably yank it. If he goes forward, you can just shoot it on a double leg. If he falls down, you just go behind him. He's going to yank and go up to the double. Yank, and then shoot it back. just like that. And then take him on down and get on top of him fast. Do not wait because the good guy's going to be scrambling, looking for a switch, trying to get out of there. If this is you, if you're a Pierce situation, you don't just get up and take down and bail out. You're fighting, you're fighting, you're grabbing his ankles, you're coming around behind him, and the, the worst thing that should happen is a stalemate. Don't give up the takedown. So that's a, that's, a, that's a double leg. All right, Steve, come on back in here. All right, good job, Pierce.